It is time for another hair change. It has been a long time, six or seven months to be precise since I've seen a professional hairstylist and I am ready for a transformation. I'm talking color, I'm talking cut, maybe a treatment. The last time I cut my hair was when I did it myself. I was going for some Korean bangs. Oh. I didn't really turn out with what I was hoping for. My hair is really uneven. You can especially notice it when I put it up. There's all these different hairs going in different directions at different lengths. So hopefully we're gonna fix that today. And I really wanna achieve this color that I've seen popping up here and there for a long time now. It's especially popular in Korea amongst Korean celebrities and K-pop stars. And I don't know what it's called or what it is exactly, but that's part of its allure to me. It's really uh, mysterious. Is it blonde? Is it brown? It's a bit gray and ashy at the same time. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to achieve that, but we're gonna try. I actually messaged my stylist Sandy and sent her the photos. Um, to say like this is what I'm interested in doing and she's always been really honest with me about what I can achieve and what my hair can achieve like health wise and she said I would have to bleach my whole head probably in order to get there but I don't really want to do that because after dyeing my hair white blonde I finally grown out my natural color mostly and it's at a place where it's really healthy it's growing strong and I'm really happy with it so I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna go there, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna see. But before I head there, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty has been a partner of mine for a long time, so we have this mutual love that has just lasted for many years now, and I'm really happy that they want to sponsor another video. If you don't know them, they are a 100% customizable hair care brand, and they recently also launched a body care line, which you can also customize. Take their two-minute quiz to find your personal hair products to meet your personal needs and goals. Also, for those of you in my community that prefer more natural hair care or you have a sensitive scalp, you can opt for fragrance-free and dye-free, which is what I went for this time. And you can also opt for silicone free, which is great for people doing the curly girl method. But be aware that silicone free may not always be what's best for you. Hello class and welcome to ingredients that have a bad rep that might not actually be bad for you. Lesson one is on silicones. So we've heard a lot of bad things about silicone specifically in skincare and hair care. The ingredient or the silicone that we're gonna talk about today is dimethicone. You can find this in a lot of hair care. It is a breathable synthetic emollient that moisturizes your hair. So by saying that, you maybe can think about why it would be good in hair care. It's gonna coat your hair not only to make it all shiny, but it's also gonna seal it and lock in moisture, which is key if you're going to go on to use hair tools. So if you have dry or damaged hair, or you're out in the sun a lot, you get a lot of UV exposure, or you use heated tools, then dimethicone may actually be beneficial to you. So don't listen to everything you hear online. Do your own research and figure out how it relates to you and your specific needs. Function of Beauty's products are all GMO, toxin, paraben, and sulfate free. They're also 100% vegan and cruelty free. Something that made me really happy to hear is they're making changes sustainability wise, like changing their packaging to 100% craft boxes. And their plastic is now 100% PVC, not virgin plastic. So this means less burden on the environment, less waste. If you wanna get 20% off your order, you can click the link below in my description box and you can fill out your questionnaire, figure out what works for your hair, and I hope you really enjoy it. Thanks again to Function of Beauty. Let us head to the hair salon. Yeah, so like seven months. 
So I try to cut my hair myself. I'm sure you've had many pandemic haircuts coming. Well, at least Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just the front, like, these, like, I don't know what I do. Sandy explained that my natural hair color is a bit darker than what I was going for. So realistically, if we weren't going to bleach my whole head, we had to do highlights. And then we would use a toner that's somewhere between the color of these two. And then the end result wouldn't really be one straight color like this this or this it would have a few colors and more dimension kind of like this we're going gym in so it's pretty dramatic for you because right now it's like all natural yeah guys i have my first gray hair <laughs> is it really gray oh my god it is should i rip it out <laughs> Alright, what should I do with this? Just like save it. <laughs> save it. I think I have many more to come. Nah. <laughs> I need to save it. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yeah. So step one is back to back highlights. Yeah, baby lights. Baby lights. So we we want to make them more natural instead of like too chunky. Sandy put fine highlights throughout my whole head and this took about I think just over two hours to do because my hair although it's very fine it's very thick I have a lot of it so thank you so much Sandy for all of your time and hard work you put into this transformation all right it's lunch time I'm having my beloved mana it's been so long juice and a giant wrap Inside there's falafel, tomatoes, lettuce, tahini, and hot peppers, and the outside is teff, this grain called teff. It's really good. Next, they washed out the highlights, put on an ashy toner, and then we did the Olaplex 3 so that my hair can stay strong and healthy, although we were bleaching it, and then the regular shampoo and conditioner, and then it was blow dried before I got my hair cut. Cutting your hair dry causes less damage because wet hair is more fragile and elastic. It also creates less room for surprises because you know what you're going to get. They can be more precise, they can tailor it more to exactly what you want and you will see the finished result right away. Basically I just want to clean up the ends. She trimmed as little as possible because I still want to grow it a lot longer. The main focus was to clean up the front of my hair and make the layers more symmetrical and I also added a little bit more layers in. exactly what I wanted um, but she did it in quite a healthy way because it was done through highlights instead of bleaching my whole head first I thought that it wouldn't look quite like what I was looking for but ah, it does it does I'm so happy and it feels so nice I never realized how important it is to have a haircut I used to get a cut like every four months but I've waited over seven now and my ends were just they really needed some loving <laughs> my hair is yeah, very nice half. Okay, apparently it's a Typhoon 3 at the moment and could turn into a Typhoon 8. But at the same time, I am out right now. It's not, it doesn't feel windy. I'm out right now and I never come out. I haven't been essential in a while and I feel like I want to walk around a bit. So let's just take a little walk. See what's going on. Top shop is closing in Hong Kong, so they have a big sale at their store right now, I think. So I'm gonna go and check that out. But there's a lot of brands leaving Hong Kong now, which is very unfortunate. And then even just walking by here, a lot of shops have closed down, which is really heartbreaking to see. I really wonder what the future is gonna be like. Just 
walking around. Tom's on his way to grab me. It is so humid out. Hong Kong is such a crazy humid place. And I was just riding up the escalator. I saw this traditional tea place. And there's one that they always sell at the front of the shop. And I'm pretty sure... Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it uh, removes heat and dampness. So I think I'm gonna go grab one of those. I hope it is good for my health. It tastes like it's good for my health. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and down this. Good morning, it is the next day now and I was hoping for a sunny day so that I could show you what the color looks like in the sunlight but unfortunately it is another very dark and runny, rainy day. We had a typhoon 8 last night, thankfully it was just an 8, they were actually expecting a 9 or higher because there was a really bad storm and they stopped public transportation and everything but it just got to an eight and it mostly occurred in the middle of the night when we were sleeping. I might sound like I am very nonchalant about it, but typhoons are a regular thing here in Hong Kong. The first like two times it happened, I was quite scared, but it's happened so many times and August is actually typhoon season that we've kind of just gotten used to it. I think it's kind of like a snow day in Canada in the fact that it happens. If there's a lot, there's school closures and office closures and people just stay at home but it's just basically a lot of wind and rain. I did an IG poll asking you guys if I should go darker or lighter with my hair and it was pretty much 50-50, which is an exact represent representation of how I feel. Sometimes I wanna go lighter again because having bright hair is really fun and, and exciting and but then I love the way dark hair looks and I love how shiny and like luxurious dark hair looks too So I was kind of on the fence and I feel like this can kind of be both I don't know if you would call this hair light brown or dark blonde. It's up for interpretation Let me know below in the comments what you think I've heard the term bronze before which means it's kind of a mixture of the two or kind of in between the two I don't know. I like the mystery of it. I personally feel like it's a light brown Ah, but I don't know because in certain lights it looks blonde. <laughs> yeah, I am very happy with this color although it's a very subtle change It makes me feel fresh makes me feel a little bit different If you're thinking about changing your hair and you don't want to go too dark This is a good option because it's kind of in the middle. It's kind of just a different tone Alternatively, you could also just tone your hair to be the more ashy version of your hair because a lot of this has to do Just with the toner so you could try that too to see what more of a cool tone would look like on you just for a little bit of a change and a little bit of a pick me up. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you like it? Do you think I should go darker or lighter next time or con continue this? She said all I need to do is tone this again in two to three months so that I can keep this color because Hong Kong water tends to turn your hair a little bit more brassy or orangey toned. So I think I am gonna keep this for the fall. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!